guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be the La Mer Press Powder Review. This is a brand new product by La Mer. They actually just launched it. I came back like 20 minutes ago from the launch event and I thought I would just sit down and film this right now because I'm just so fresh from the event. It was like a masterclass that they had with their ambassadors, Patrick Ta and Mary Phillips, who both are celebrity makeup artists, super, super famous. Mary Phillips does makeup on JLo, Kim Kardashian, Khloe Kardashian, a lot of A-list celebrities. And then Patrick Ta, kind of the same thing. He does a lot of the Kardashians and other celebrities. And so they had a masterclass to kind of teach us a little bit about the new powder and also other products that La Mer has. I feel like I learned a lot and I wanted to just come sit down, take this makeup off and start all over again and kind of like share what I learned today from the masterclass and also give you guys my thoughts and reviews of the new La Mer powder. But before we get started, I want you guys to know, in case you're new to my channel, if you're not, not new, you're very, very familiar with this translucent powder. This has been my obsession. This is by far one of my absolute favorite products in the entire world. I've used this product a lot on my channel. So that's why I'm really excited about this one because this is kind of like the baby press version of this is kind of what I got out of it. Although this does come in four shades. I guess I'm already going into the review, so let's just do it. So I already have my base on with my foundation, concealer, all of that stuff. I used the La Mer, the Soft Fluid Long Wear Foundation. And then for my concealer, I used uh, the La Mer concealer as well. And this is in light 12. I pretty much did everything that Mary and Patrick did today for the masterclass. I kind of just like repeated all the steps. And I like how my skin turned out. It's very dewy, natural looking, but still provided a bunch of coverage. So onto the review, this is the box and the packaging that it comes in. Super sleek and beautiful, just like all of their packaging. It's just so pretty. And then when you open it up, this is what the component looks like. It looks identical to the powder as far as like the the finishes just sort of like the pressed version of that it does come with a mirror it's a really good quality mirror it does also come with a sponge which you can you know use for touch-ups and things like that and then this is what the powder looks like now for now they have four shades I would use light just because again I only like to set the center of my face and I like to highlight those areas all right so I'm gonna read some of the claims that they're making here and see kind of like how it performs to what they're saying. So it provides a matte but not flat finish, which is something I like. No parabens, no sulfates, very important. It has light reflecting pigments and those sort of add dimension and create a soft blurring effect. I can vouch for the big one and I can tell you that this definitely has some sort of a magic powder in there because it does for sure blur the imperfections. And so if it has the same type of blurring effects, then I'm gonna be obsessed with this because it's small enough where I can actually travel with, put it in my bag for touch-ups and things like that. So it says all day comfort, helps skin hold on to natural moisture, powerful antioxidants, lime tea concentrate protects against stress and pollution which I live in LA, so I'm all about that. Weightless, buildable coverage, and then the price is $95 on their website. So again, the shade that I'm gonna use is Light 12, and I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of product just like that, and I'm basically using the same exact brush that both Mary and Patrick used, and what they did is just basically press the product around the center of the face. And they both did the same thing in terms of like not mattifying the whole face, just kind of focusing on the center. So I'm just gonna get really close so we can see how much of it, it actually blurs and mattifies. So I will say that it's not really providing coverage. It's more, yeah, it's definitely mattifying the, you know, the area, but not really flattening it because I could still see light reflecting which is really nice. I put about two or three layers on this side. So then I'm just gonna go ahead and take the shine from the nose. So it comes with a sponge, but again, I'm using the brush because that's kind of what they used. And even Patrick was saying how he likes using a brush a little bit more because it creates more of an airbrush finish rather than with the sponge. This is great for like on the go touch-ups, but if you're home, it's best to use a brush to kind of Again, give it that airbrushed finish. So I'm not gonna put it on this side just yet. 
So as you can see, the pores on this side is a lot more visible than on this side. So it does have the same kind of blurring effect as their translucent powder. I can vouch for that. I mean, you can see it in person. And you see how many times I'm just kind of going over the same area. It's still looking pretty natural. It doesn't feel like it's getting cakey. That's why I keep putting it on just to see if it's going to get cakey. It's not getting cakey. It's definitely providing a very natural sort of finish. Oh my gosh, wow, that is so much larger than this side. It's crazy. So yeah, I definitely blurred the larger pores. It mattified it. So I have to say I love it just as much as I love the translucent powder because as you can see, it mattified and kind of blurred the same way as the translucent powder. It didn't really cake my face. It didn't really, you know, create too much of that matte finish. It still has like that skin-like natural texture to it, but looks blurred and matte sort of at the same time. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other side. Wow, what a difference, my goodness. I'm so excited for this product, you have no idea. I'm gonna use the sponge now and just kind of see how that works. Okay, it definitely, I feel like with the sponge, it mattifies even more. Oh wow, and I feel like it blurs it more. If you want a more intense matte finish, I would actually recommend using the sponge because I don't know, I feel like with the sponge, it mattified it more and it also blurred a little more. So it just depends on like what you're looking for. I think that if you have flawless skin and you don't have any imperfections, then use a brush. If you've got a lot of texture, then use a brush first, then go over it with a sponge to kind of really press all of the product into the little imperfections, kind of like that. Overall, I think it's such an amazing product. It really does come close to their translucent powder. To me, it felt just like that, but less messy because obviously it's not a translucent powder. It's more pressed, it's compact. You can travel with it. You can take it to work with you, school with you, whatever it is. So I definitely think it's worth it. If you ask me, I know it's expensive and I know that some of you guys are gonna be concerned about that for me specifically certain things i think are worth you know paying money to like if you ask me is a mascara worth it or a lipstick or even sometimes like a foundation i would say you know if you really can't afford it it's not worth it of course there are great lipsticks and mascaras you can find from the drugstore but when it comes to products like this or skincare that is really going to change the texture of your skin i definitely think those kinds of products are worth it for me this powder is worth it just because i do have texture i have acne scars i have larger pores and as you can see it made a huge difference so for me it's worth it so it all depends on kind of like what you're looking for and also what your skin type is and how much you're willing to splurge on something like this so I love it I give it my thumbs up and I 100% recommend it if you guys have any questions if I didn't talk about you know anything specific that you want to know about leave a comment below and I'll be sure to answer you guys and so now on to the giveaway just because I did get a couple of doubles from things so I thought why not do a little giveaway with you guys so I got an extra brush so the giveaway is going to have one of these guys and it's already packaged like this unopened of course. So next you're gonna get their face oil, which is like a really popular product that they have in their skincare line. And this is what it looks like. Patrick actually used this today. Last but not least, you are gonna get one of the pressed powders, but in a very fancy version. They actually gave me two. One of them was like the fancy sort of goodie bag that they had. And then they also gave me this version, which is what they sell on their website. This is the one I kept for myself and I'm giving you guys the fancy one because I love you. So it comes with these little cute cases that you can sort of change your translucent powder and then of course the translucent powder in medium deep so these are the goodies that i am giving away again the oil the brush and the translucent powder if you want to win these goodies all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up share it on either twitter or pinterest whatever you want or even facebook just one of those places and lastly leave a comment down below just tell me where you're from i want to get to know you guys so that is all for this video i love you guys so much. Everything will be in the description box if you missed anything. Other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys. Okay, so without further ado, bleh, bleh, bleh. what's with this baby hair situation? I love the way my skin looks. Oh my gosh, what am I doing with my life?